I'm good. Mm -hmm. You know, you're the first one who did this interview. Yes. So, umekua at the beginning, na umekuja for the ending. Mm -hmm. Elections ilikuwa poa. Mini kiangaliata wa Kenya. They really wanted change. But nilijuliza swali. Eight million have not voted. What what should leadership of this country read from that? Inamanisha wa Kenya wengi wamechoka na history ya elections, politics. Wanaonawacha tutu waishi maisha yao. Meaning they are disappointed by how leadership is behaving and is delivering to Kenyans. What's hailing the uh, root part of Kenya? Kenyan voter is very brilliant. Choya ukika like you're not focused. When you start talking about your competitors, a common mwananchi anasemanga, badila ni kupea wewe by, by brokerage, wacha ni patie the main guy. So I'm not disappointed. I saw it coming. The moment tuli itwa project, ya zimio, we lost everything. So mimi meta hizo 61,000 votes, niko very happy that Kenyans badu wali believe in us. So siko disappointed. Let me say I saw it coming. Sadly, up or along the way, we were, we were told that some people were parachuted to KCC during the manifesto launch. Of course, up on the way, so many people brought up that you are a project of Azimio. So the moment we were tagged Devo, from the word go, we were not uh, supposed to be a project. We had agreed that we are selling the party. But as a uh, competitor, we were kuguzwa ama kusema usponi pati ya pati ya competitor hapo ili to tag ili to brand vibaya sana as a project but mimi kama Justina nikienda huko akukua na any answer ya, any room ya kukua project in Kenya we have a total of 80 political parties registered in the US we have two main ones in the UK we have three and there are over 200 years of age those political parties does it mean that uh, they do not have difference of opinions they have but they have mechanisms to discuss the way forward. You see? Not like in Kenya that ukileta your opinion mkosane. Nasi is not on personal basis. It's on principle. In Kenya, the, the trend imekua, ukisame hivi kwa chama mkosane, unatoka. Ama mingine anasema, it is my party. Unona? We need to change in terms of democracy. If the voters have changed, election was, uh, the winner was announced last, uh, the other week on Monday. Wa Kenya badu wako peaceful. In Amanisha, the voters are more mature than the politicians. PSCC, we need to evolve and understand that you can have difference in, differences in principle. Not in personality, in principle. And for me, my difference ni kwamba, uh, during the election, there was a process na tulienanga IBC to invest on agents for the polling stations, 46,229 polling stations. And then kuliku, after voting, kukakua na ile process ya IBC, pale bomas. Iyo ilikuwa tu ya collate form 30, UL 34A na B, do were announced results. During that process, nilingia uko undercover and people didn't see me because I like understanding processes. Nikangalia kwa hiyo meza, aru alikuwa nakuja na form zake. First, zinangalia security features. They would do a like like this. Wa confirm yo karatasi kwa aji. Is it original? Wana seme iku original. Ina verify iwa. Na hiyo data inafuadiwa kwa commission. Verified data all agents who have signed against ku sign our four agents wa chama ni kumanisha wamekubaliana challenge ilikuja the last few hours nobody was complaining unaona so mimi ninaangalia sisi kama roots party agent way to chief agent because he was there during the whole process signed against form 34c akasema he is satisfied and maku because wa Kenya alituona kule bomas mimi na party leader na agent wetu when you will announce that agents come forth, akaenda. Na unajua tulikuwa na jua ndio kazi ya agent. Kurudi, tukamambia what is happening. Jupia kulikuwa na delay. Akatuambia, no, we were signing, we were confirming uh, form 34C. Ndi wafanya announcement. Unawana? Na mkubu wangu wakawa sama, you have you signed? Yes. Kusema hivo, si tukakubaliana, oh, you've signed, mandate ni ya chama, uliku umeapointiwa na chama. So say tukasema ni sawa. But now other other issues have emerged that uh, what wala, it looked like maybe the party is taking another direction ya kuenda kutini. So mini as an individual ni kasema, our agents were on the ground. Atakama si wate wa polling station, bomas tulikuwa na agents wetu, chief agent ame sign. Where are we going to court? So it was not a question on disregarding what an attacker kufanya. It was a question on principle that we have already accepted the processes. 
So why are we going to court? So nadhani hapo ndio aliona it looked like but the challenge is not on personality let me clarify it's a principal issue when the loopholes emerged the moment Kenyans lost faith in us and started calling us a project the moment we would go on a campaign trail and uh, the office of the party leader would say that um, do, if you don't vote for me vote for the other one that is when i in where i sit i saw that we are moving away from the vision of the party and then now when we move away from the vision of the party someone is advocating for the competitor there is a disciplinary committee that have been called to and we had already agreed that roots party is what we are selling so did the disciplinary com committee also intervene at that time to say come back to our vision which is legalization and regulations of marijuana so the loopholes again started the moment i woke up one day so many phone calls and everyone is making noise at me abusing me that i thought i'm wise but we are kenyans are wiser the media houses had reported that uh, my party leader had confirmed he's going to support Azimio. And you remember, there was a letter he, there was a letter done by the party, and he also, com co also confirmed that he's not moving. What I did, because I also have a voice, I also said the same, that we have not had a discussion on moving or burning our home. That is what I said. For me, I needed to represent that women and youth have a mind, have a voice. And they can say what they feel. And that is why many of them are pushing me. Justina, you're there as a woman. Are you dead as a dodo? No, you have a voice. Can you give us your stand? So I, I didn't go against anything that he had said because true, even him he had denied. And I also denied that we are not moving. And that served the purpose. Yes, because Kenyans believe that the, par the party is still intact. Did you consult? you know, your party position or your party leadership before you, you, you threw your support behind William Ruto? When we were at Bomas, a photo was taken of my party leader and the president-elect. And my party leader really greeted him and he was happy. The difference between my congratulation and my party leader's congratulation was that his was verbal, mine was non-verbal, mine was written. You see, but all of us congratulated him. And then another thing, by congratulating, is also by conduct. Did the agent of Roots Party sign Form 34C? They did. So already, he had already done it. So I don't think, I don't know why it's a problem now, yet he had already set the pace or shown direction in that regard. On August the 3rd, when you had an interview with us again, you said, I, Justina Wangoi Wamai, a youth and a woman of sound mind, would support the country. Does this mean you were predetermined to support William Ruto? I, I wasn't predetermined. Like I said, I had to put a voice to the women and youth of this country. Number two, he had spoken. In fact, him was a video. He had spoken. He had said what he said. So when I say the contrary, it would mean two things. Contrary of moving out is staying. Contrary of supporting this side is supporting the opposite. You see, it wasn't predetermined. But what I was trying to say was that we have not discussed. Our agenda has been legalizing and regulation of marijuana. Why are we talking about our competitors? Why do we seem that we want to support them? So it wasn't predetermined. Like, like it comes off. It was not. Have you dissociated yourself with the Roots Party as, as claimed in the demand letter that was issued to you? Uh, I have not. In fact, I've really defended the ideology. I never spoke about any of our competitors. I never spoke about any of our competitors' manifesto. If you look, um, it's on record. Justina has fought to destigmatize marijuana. In fact, it has been a very battle, a very big battle, even in my personal life. My parents are Christians. My dad sings in a choir. And we had a very bad disagreement with my parents. But I did so much to destigmatize marijuana. So I have fought for the party to the bitter end. And one thing maybe people would say, if you are not happy, you would have resigned. I want to tell Kenyans that there is one syndrome that has affected Igadi. Igadi was told that you, you ran away when the kitchen was hot. And you know Kenyans, our nature is to fight it out. Is it true? We have so many struggles. We have, uh, you know, finances, kwa job ni struggle, traffic ni struggle. If we fight on those small things, 
I'm expected to even fight in these other things while I'm still in that house. So I have defended the party to the bitter end. And it actually say that I should remember that I was given assistance in accommodation and a car. I can categorically say that I deny and I reject the notion that I was given anything. In fact, when I went to Ruth's party, I was very honest that I didn't have the financial muscle for it. And the party leader said that let's first jump every bridge when it comes. My husband has been very supportive and I said the business we do. So nothing, even a sweet. The only thing I can say is that when we went to his village in Koyonzo, I ate a plate of food. So will I come? Because I know all of you will be there for, as a, in the committee. I'm yet, I'm still consulting. I'm still consulting, but by Friday, because you're also part of the committee, I hope to see you there. So am I willing to sit down with him? It's politics. It's leadership. Why not? Because the vision is still intact. Many of the Kenyans are asking me, now what happens to the very good vision you are sharing? It is not dead, Kenyans. So we, we, we will work around it one way or another. This is politics. What Jakoya says, you blocked communication between you and him and the roots party. Is that true? Let me say we both blocked each other. And the reason is because I was not happy with the direction he was taking in supporting our competitor. And I talked to him about it one on one. But he came off very defensive, he came off angry. We, we've seen, and even in public, it's in public knowledge the way he reacts. So I did not want to engage him. So both of us blocked each other at that blocked point. First. <laughs> we blocked each other, <laughs> let me say that. But he blocked me first because he was not happy with, the, with the, the, the conversation that I was taking. So he blocked me and then I also blocked him because I didn't know whether when he comes back he's going to continue being angry. I won't, I won't run away from the, you know, the heat in the kitchen. But because uh, my party leader said that, he implied that Ruth's party is his party, he can do what he deems fit for the party. As you see more of me, because uh, I'm focusing on, I've, I've met brilliant people. Actually, Kenyans have, Kenyans have youth who are brilliant, women who are brilliant. The luck I got or the advantage I got, I was on the limelight. So I'm going to partner with those women, those youth, who are more intelligent than I am. So that we can have a forum for mentorship, you know, the youth, and also voice our concerns at the youth. So I'll be more on civic education and, you know, mentoring the youth, and also them mentoring me. I said the only advantage I had was limelight. But the potential the Kenyan youth and the Kenyan women have down there is immense. When I lost in 2017, I applied for a PS position in 2018. Though I've never gotten feedback whether I lost or I did not lose, that had been my drive, public service. So what next? Whoever wins this election, or rather whatever the court says, the government that comes into place has 21 days after they are sworn in to advise, advertise for PS and CS positions. I will send in my, my application as any other Kenyan because that has always been my vision from 2018. I will apply for a PS position and uh, I'll, I'll hope it will be, I'll be considered for a position. So that is what is, what is next for me.